It's Kelly again. Kelly's our mascot. Always, forever. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Multiplex Miscellaneous. Uh, I am your host, Caleb Coho, back again for another uh, week of Final Mound goodness. We have the Final Mound back out again. Joining me, of course, is my trusty sidekick, my my anchor <laughs> that keeps me floating through these week-to-week faces, uh, Andrew the Dive Bar. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm good, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'm here to basically just uh, remind everyone how this game works. That's all I'm here for. Yeah, absolutely, because I, I cannot remember how my show works, uh, which is a problem. Uh, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this week. I love Final Man. We got four teams in here, uh, and we got four really solid teams uh, to do it. A lot of faces yeah. you've seen before. A lot of teams reforming, reforging, renaming, and some new teams. Uh, so it's going to be a good time. We'll start with a team that uh, that we have seen several times, but they have a new name. Uh, Ethan Beller, Har- uh, <laughs> Scott Harvey. I have thrown off by the at Scarvey <laughs> <laughs> they the we also call him uh, a hot Scarvy sometimes. Hot Scarvy, <laughs> uh, hot Scarvy, and Ethan Beller. Uh, they are now the bridesmaids. Legalese no more. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to Miscellaneous. I, I mean, it was the only name we could really choose, right? For as many times as we have come second, um, but we are here to get our fourth or fifth of the twenty-seven dresses that I'm sure we'll be earning. Um, <laughs> at some point but uh yeah you know it's it's always fun until it isn't <laughs> yeah uh, i think that we realized that the name was the thing keeping us back so finally we got this <laughs> right yeah that is, for sure that that yeah. that is that is maybe it i believe that it is science i think this yeah. is it uh speaking of teams reforming and reforging uh it's my former teammate Caleb Boatman and his original partner Thomas Scully mischief managed back on the oh. final mound uh, how you guys? How you guys uh, feeling? How you guys doing? Back as a team, uh, but will you win the final mound and enjoy the rest of the Kingsman and Anthony at the last event? Probably not. If we did stick to the trend, probably not. Yeah, I um, I like the uh, pink and teal combo, Coho and Bar. Did you guys spend the day like in 1994 or something? Oh, uh, listen, uh, we were we at a man. He looks like he just got done shooting a scene. This warehouse together. Miami. We, we, we yeah. do. We shop. We, we shop at, uh, what is that one? What is it? American Eagle? Is that what it is? Is that a store with colors? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know the different Aero shirts. Aeropostales. I don't know the different shirts. Aeropostale. There you go. There's another one. I'm All the bright colors. I'm right now, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone is here right now. But you know what? We have a totally new team, uh, one of the guys you've seen before. We have Mr. Robert Kastner and Jess joining us. Onions and ketchup. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Multiplex Miscellaneous. What are you thinking about being here? I I know you didn't think that it was possible, everybody out there, that I could find a better-looking teammate than Anthony Tisdall. But guess what? I freaking did it. (laughs) Welcome to Multiple X Miscellaneous, Jess. Uh, how do you feel about being here for your first show? I am super excited. Um, hope I'm not super awkward, but we'll see. But I've seen uh, most of you guys play, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen, and honored to be here. Look, uh, Coho and I will cover the awkwardness. You don't have to worry about that. It's, my it's our forte. As I'm never be- awkward. What are you talking about, Tully? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to transition away from Boatman. Uh, we got uh, the moment the moment you've been waiting for. We said Hollywood video is going to be here tonight, and they are here. Uh, well, one of them is. It's Wizario. Uh, who's your teammate? Because Ike Manley said he couldn't be here at the last minute. Yeah, he sent us a really strongly worded letter saying, fuck you guys. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's more than one letter. <clears throat> <clears throat> fuck the monster video! <laughs> Yeah, you guys are monsters. Uh, I, I checked on Ike Manley. Uh, he had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I then moved on uh, to Dig Too Big, who apparently has explosive vomit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, we needed to bring the guy. The guy that only comes when everybody else has vomit and diarrhea. <laughs> This guy. I hate, I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Mr. Mac Quailutz. Mac Quailutz. Old man Quailutz. 
<laughs> I have no words. I have no wow. words, but you know what? They do. They're Hollywood video. I've never heard of Mac Quaaludes until tonight, and I think that's the way most of us are. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Mac, how, uh, how are you feeling about being on your first miscellaneous show? After tonight, you will forget you heard the name, too. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I hope I do. Uh, all right. This is how. Multi- you curved your name into my wall. I can't. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rearrange everyone. Really, yeah, we'll be on the we'll be down here. We'll be down on the bottom. Don't worry. Uh, while I'm doing this bar, explain to them the rules of multiplex miscellaneous final now. So basically, round by round, you're going to get a question from each category. Whatever team has the lowest amount after that round will be eliminated. So, round by round, we will be losing a team. Um, basically, your first round, uh, it's we're just going to go straight across with the questions. Second round, we're going to do the exact same thing, just in the reverse order. In round three, we will bring up a wheel, and the players will be able to confer uh, in that area, in that round. Uh, And then, in the final round, it's going to be one versus one. Whoever gets the most questions between the two of you on that team will be the winner. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, does anyone have any questions as we get into the first round of the final round? What's Mac, 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 you didn't say the line. Uh oh. Come on! <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I think he's also very confused. We're going to go along with the first round of the final mound with your first question, which is going to come in the category of history slash geography. In which city will you find Big Ben? In which city will you find Big Ben? I think uh, we start off with uh, what we in the professionals call a softball. I think uh, I think uh, we as professionals would call this show a shit show already <laughs> out the gate. Uh, so hey, we had to replace a competitor for the I first mean, time. I mean, Ike Manley definitely made it a shit show. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. I everything. Pens down. We'll go ahead. We will start with Robert. You sound like you're from London. Uh, we'll go to Jess. Foggy London Town. Uh, we will go to Mac. I'm pretty sure Big Ben is a clock, not a softball, London. Uh, we will go to Wazari. In London! We'll go to Scully. London. We'll go to Boatman. Yeah, me, London. Uh, we'll go to Beller. London. Uh, and Scott. There's no place like London, England. And that is a clean sweep across the board. Everyone's tied at two as we get to the second question in Paints and Books and Theater coming to you from the pretentious hack himself, Andrew James Barr. Hey, that's me. Who wrote the 1958 novel Breakfast at Tiffany's? Uh, of course, you had me not only read the Paints and Books and Theater question, but the Breakfast at Tiffany's question. I had to. This, this is an opportunity that one cannot pass up. Well, um, it is also written in our contract. Absolutely, but you're also wearing the blue shirt and you know deep blue something. I just it's right there. I had to. Oh, we lost. And Jess. Oh, lost Jess. Uh, we got five, four, three, two, one. Pans down. Uh, let's um let's actually go to Robert first so he can first. help Jess yes. with their yes. camera. Let, uh, Truman Capote. Uh, we will go to Matt Mac. Agrelco. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Caleb Bowman. Uh, we will go to Caleb Bowman. Uh, you want to watch Capote on a Monday night? Uh, Thomas Scully. I believe it's, uh, it's the Bond girl from Diamonds Are Forever, Tiffany Case. Uh, we'll go to Bella. <laughs> it's F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, and Scott. Truman Capote. Truman Capote is correct. So we have Onions and Ketchup with three, Mission Manage with three, Bridesmaids with three, Hollywood Video with two, and we'll take a quick pause. Uh, so you can get Jess and Robert back in here. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, we will reprimand the reference to film uh, from Mr. Thomas Scully. Uh, we are not allowed to use films here. <coughs> in any form. I also reference the film? No film. No, I thought, uh, did you? No. I, well, I technically referenced a, a movie Battleground match. That I thought we were all retired from movie Battleground. I referenced I Sweet Todd on the last one, so. 
Yeah, I got that reference. Guys. No movies. Gosh, where's where's our where's Michael Campbell in the chat to tell you about movies? Well, we we're taught technically. Up oh, there we go. We are, I mean that's fair. Yeah. Right. There we go. We are all back. All right. Ready to go. Can I? Uh, uh, okay, yes. Rosario, calm down. Um. So, Jess, can I just see your 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 page? Did you, you get Mike? the question? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, um, I did get London, and I scratched it out, but it's here. Okay, uh, okay. We so did, she we didn't did have the last question. But yeah, we didn't have yeah. the last one. Oh, the last one. Yep, yep. that's fine. Nope, I fell off right before then. No worries, all right. you're all good. We just, unfortunately, we do have to move on. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so it is three to three to three to two as we get to the third question in the category of multiplex. And your question is? What was the name of the show hosted by Tim Bracala on Tuesdays that recently ended its run and was replaced by Logged It? A fantastic program we are right here on twitch.tv slash Multiplex Entertainment on Tuesdays. So. Yep, Logged It, a great lumberjack competition game show. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. Uh, one if, it were a lumberjack, if it were a lumberjack contest, why did we let Buttman host it? <laughs> Love, Is it because uh, Vlad? But I was going to say yes, the plaid. Exactly. It's go. the flannel. Five, I'm the king four, of the plaid. Three, You're the two, king of the lumberjacks. One. Pens <laughs> down. We'll go ahead and we will start with Robert. I couldn't remember. I said rank him. Uh, we'll go to Jess. I didn't really get it. I was going to say your list sucks, but I think I'm confused. Uh, we will go to yeah, Rosario. Sure. Multiplex loves movies. Uh, we'll go to Mac. Multiplex mania. Uh, we will go to Scully. I'm not sure if they do, but Multiplex loves movies. Uh, we will, not on miscellaneous. Uh, we'll go to Boatman. Watch our content. Multiplex loves movies. Scott. Multiplex loves movies. And Beller. I misheard the question. I'm sorry, Scott. I put too big trivia night. Uh, all right. So <laughs> at the uh, end of that question, we got Mischief Manager now in the lead with five, Bridesmaids with four, and Onions and Ketchup and Hollywood Video now tied with three. Uh, as we get yes. to the fourth question. Your fourth question is going to come in games. <clears throat> Green Hill Zone is the first level in which Sega Genesis game? Some people went to their board. Very quickly. Very fast. Awful quick. Uh, Cody Newberry in the chat says, Beller, you suck. Uh, Val. <laughs> no argument here. Michael says he'd also watch a show called Multiplex Mania. I think we all... I, I, I was like, thinking the exact same thing. I think that's I, just every show on Multiplex, to be honest. We're all, we're, we're all manic on Multiplex. Five, four, three, two, manic. one. Pens down. We will start with Robert. Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, we'll go to Jess. I didn't get it. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Sonic the Hedgehog. We'll go to Mac. Sonic the Hedgehog. We'll go to Boatman. This is how you Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, uh, we will go to Scully. This is how you Donkey the Kong. Uh, <laughs> we'll go to Beller. Sonic the Hedgehog. And Scott. Oh my gosh, it's another movie, Sonic the Hedgehog. And that is correct. No movies! Uh, <laughs> no movies. No movies. Prize base tied up mischief managed there with six Hollywood video and leave with five onions to catch up with four now as we get to the next question, which comes in the lovely category of sports. Uh, something I know absolutely everything possible about. Uh, which uh, your first question is with what sport would you associate Ryan Lochte? With what sport would you associate Ryan Lochte? I think that's uh, how you say that name. Yeah, that's how you say that name. That's actually correct. Awesome. And I had to pay attention to this sport because uh, someone from my hometown actually was on the same team as. Uh, oh wow! Ryan. Really? Mm -hmm. that's, that's so it's a team. Yeah. So well, now we know. Team. God well, damn it, Barb! Five, four, it's not Tiddlywinks. Two, one. <laughs> damn it, Barb! Pens down. Uh, we'll start with Robert. Swimming. Uh, we'll go to Jess. Nope, I put hockey. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Unless drinking is a sport, it's swimming. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Mac. Swimming is 100% drinking. Uh, we'll go to Boatman. A sports question, I know. Swimming. Uh, Skelly. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, swimming. Uh, Beller. I want to challenge that Matt wrote swimming, but it's swimming. Uh, and Scott. 
Swimming. Swimming is correct. So Mischief Managed Bridesmaids tied with eight. Hollywood Video, seven. Onions and Ketchup, five. Let's get to the next question, which comes in what category, Bar? Uh, that category is going to be TV, or as the cool people call it, TV. What TV show was the first created by Seth MacFarlane after Family Guy? Cody Newberry, I know. Oh, Bar, you suck. Honestly, I thought this was a question about tuberculosis. I have no idea what Dr. Redshaw was talking about with uh, with me a year ago. I'm not sure what that was in reference to. Sorry. Not sure what that was in reference to. I'm not sure what that was in reference Doc to. Doc will let us know, though. He'll find out. Yeah, by the way. Four. Three. Oh, Sonic. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> One. <laughs> Pens down. Pens down. All right, we'll start with Robert. American Dad. Uh, Jess. I said the Cleveland Show. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Also known as United States Parent, American Dad. Uh, Mac. American Dad. Uh, Boatman. American Dad. Skelly. Good morning, USA. Amer American Dad. Uh, Beller. American Dad. And Scott. American Dad. American Dad is correct. Uh, 10 to 10 to 9 to 6 as we get to the next question, which will be in the category of music. I'm making music! Uh, your, your question is, in which Gwen Stefani song will you hear her spell bananas like B-A-N-A-N-A-S? I mean, that is the correct way to spell bananas. I think it is, yeah, maybe. That's actually a, a word that I have a tough time spelling because I'm always well, worried I'm adding too many letters. I, I cannot spell it without doing this song anymore. That's valid. Yeah, that's fair. Or the Dole song. Can can you spell can you spell Fergalicious without spelling it? Five, four, three, two. Yes. One. I cannot. Pens down. I just did though. Uh, we'll go to uh, we'll go to Caster. Uh, Hollaback girl. Uh, we'll go to Jess. The other Caster. Hollaback girl. I just realized what I did. Uh, we'll go. We'll go to Rosario. Hello back, girl. Uh, we will go to Mac. That is the Donkey Kong thing song. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, go to we'll go to Boatman. Because she is not actually a Hello back girl. Uh, we'll go to Scully. I hate this song, Hello back girl. We'll go to Scott. Hello back girl. And Beller. I guess I'm the only loser who broke up the first word, Hello back girl. <laughs> Hello back girl is correct. So we have 12 to 12 to 10 to 8. Let's get to the next question, Mark. Next question is going to come in. Science, technology. Science. Science. Yeah. yeah. In Reddit terminology, what does ELI5 translate to? Uh, I have never been on Reddit. Do yourself a favor. Do, never. Never go on Reddit. Just don't do it. Do yourself a favor. Just don't do it. That's honestly, I've, I've never had any intention to, so that's the plan. It's a, it's a, it's a minefield. Ooh, five. I don't like mines. Four. I don't either. Three, two, one. Pans down. Uh, we'll start with Robert. No idea. I said English language in five. Uh, we'll go to Jess. I didn't know it either. Easy listening. Fifteen. Uh, we'll go to Wazario. Nerd. I'll uh, we'll go to Matt. <laughs> That's gonna be porn. <laughs> Cool. We're not exactly a family show, but we're also not exactly not a family oh. show. I will get a vote. <laughs> Everyone knows Raymond 15. <laughs> vote, Everyone, loves <laughs> Everyone loves Everyone loves Raymond. 15. Oh, there, you, there you go. Uh, Scully. Elite. Uh, Beller. I'm going to be embarrassed if I'm the only person who got this. Explain like I'm five. Uh, Scott. Yeah. That's it. I didn't get it though. <laughs> Ethan is correct. Explain like I'm fine. <laughs> I don't want to be the only person to get this one. Bridesmaids like takes, the one nerd. Lead. <laughs> takes the one point lead 13 to 12 to 10 to 8. So get to your last question of the round, which is in the miscellaneous category, which tonight your miscellaneous category is in the summertime. In the summertime. Uh, and your question for the round is thus. Which city will be hosting the Summer Olympic Games this year? Which city will be hosting the Summer Olympic Games this year? 
So as I was saying earlier, uh, someone that I actually lived in the same town as mm. was on the same Olympic swimming team as Ryan Lochte. Oh, wow. People mm-hmm. can swim yeah, in New Jersey? Too. <laughs> hometown, I said. Hometown. Oh, wow. Havertown, oh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Ah, got it. <laughs> got it. Pennsylvania people can swim. I didn't think about that. Yes. Five, four. There's a yeah, lot of swimming pools down. in Pennsylvania. One. Pens down. We'll start with Robert. Starts on my birthday, Tokyo. Uh, we'll go to Jess. His birthday is coming up, Tokyo. Uh, we'll go to Wazario. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Mac. Godzilla's in it this year, so it's got to be Tokyo. We'll go to Scully. Uh, they have some good drifting there, Tokyo. You are correct. Uh, Boatman. This is technically a sports question, so it's okay that I missed it. Uh, we'll go to Scott. Tokyo. And Beller. Tokyo. Tokyo is correct. So as we reach the end of the first round, our scores have the Bridesmaids in the lead with 15, Mischief Managed in the second with 13, Hollywood Video in third with 12, and the team we will be unfortunately saying goodbye to, Onions and Ketchup scoring 10. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, is there any, anything uh, you, you want to plug or say as you, uh, as you leave our call tonight? Uh, well, with this happening, it doesn't turn into a Jet Li 1 situation where I would have to destroy myself to thus make myself stronger. So this is fun. <laughs> that is valid. Uh, you will, of course, be back to defend the mound. Uh, so thank you so much for playing, Jess. Thank you so much for playing, Robert. We'll see you guys later. Uh, unfortunately, that is where we will say goodbye to our first team. Uh, and we will move on now with the three teams remaining, Hollywood Video, Mischief Manage, and Legalese Bar. Explain to them how the round works now in round number two. Basically, we're just going to do the same thing, just in reverse order, but guess what, guys? We're getting rid of your points, so you're starting anew again. Yeah, you are. We're hitting the big refresh button, uh, which means we're also restarting. So, Bart, go ahead and give him the first question. In in the summertime. In the summertime. Uh, Rachel Bilson played the character Summer Roberts on what 2000s TV show? Now, if you had to uh, be in a, uh, a 2010s TV show, what would it be? See, you did that just so you take away my number one show for me. You did this on I purpose. I did. You did this on purpose. Um, I, also, I just so you me. didn't give any other answers right. out. Four, three, two, uh, one. We'll, we'll say Phantom Fights. Uh, fence, fence down. Uh, we'll go to Scott. Happy Christmas to all, VOC. Uh, we will go to Beller. Ooh, I put one tree hill. Uh, we will go to Boatman. California. Uh, we'll go to Scully. I literally guessed this. The OC. Uh, we'll go to Mac. The Australian classic. The OC. Uh, and Rosario. I stole my joke. The OC. <laughs> of course, it's the OC. We have Michael and Kelly yeah. on our writing team. Yeah. Uh, the OC is correct. Uh, as we go to your next question which will uh, now be in the category of science and technology. Nerds. Yep. And your question yep. is, as I scroll to find it, uh, Hummus Americanus is the American or Atlantic variety of what shellfish? Hummus now, Americanus uh, is the American or Atlantic variety of what shellfish? Now, uh, the best joke I've ever heard about uh, that show we just talked about yep. was, it's a drama. Oh, see? <laughs> that's actually all right. That's all right. That's all right. Mm-hmm. I think we should keep Kelly as our mascot all the time. All the time. I just this video of her just turning on the white. She like she is on. the Mickey Mouse of uh, multiplex. I I agree. We're just gonna slowly elevate her to being the the face of miscellaneous. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. As down, we'll start with Scott. I don't know. I said crab. Uh, we'll go to Beller. I put shrimp. Uh, we'll go to Boatman. Uh, I said lobster. We'll go to Scully. I said crab. We'll go to Wazario. Tramp? Uh And we'll go to Mac. The Nerd Ray. Lobster is correct. So, uh, Mischief Manage holds a 3-2-1 to two to one lead with Hollywood Video with 2. Bridesmaids with 1. Let's get to the next question, which is in what category, Bar? Music! Which R- Mecca Milosek. Uh Which R and B artist had her only number one Billboard hit with the two thousand one song "Family Affair"? Kelly is very is very pleased that we're going to make it the, the mascot. We're going to make it the mascot. That's done. We, yeah. 
It's official. I, we already put decreed, a stamp, stamp. stamp and a seal. We already filled out all the paperwork. Um, mm -hmm. We just need your signature, we're, Kelly. We're, we're redesigning the logo, so now that Kelly is somewhere implemented in the logo mm -hmm. of Multiplex Miscellaneous. Uh, that's not true. Kate doesn't want to do that. Five, She's doing the Three. There you go. Two. One. Pens down. We'll go to Scott. I said Mary J. Blige. Uh, we will go to Beller. <laughs> Macy Gray. Uh, we will go to Bowman. I had no good guesses. I said Brand. I uh, will go to Scully. I said Missy Elliott. We'll go to Mac. Janet Jackson. Uh, and we'll go to Wazario. Aaliyah? <laughs> uh, Mary J. Blige is correct. So Let's three get it drunk up on the floor. Da, 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 three da, da, to two da. to two as we get to the next category, which is in TV, uh, television. In Game of Thrones, what is the name of the location that is guarded by the Night's Watch? Oh. Fun fact, I've only ever seen one episode of the show. Fun fact, I've only ever seen one season of the show. It's the first one. Fun fact, this show sucks. I stopped. I gave up after the first season. I, I know, knew I, that I this like show it. was never going to live up to the hype when it comes to the finale. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I just, I, I'm not a high fantasy mm -hmm. person, I think. Now I no, Thrones, you're a low fantasy the... person. Exactly, that's why I like Narnia. Five, four, three, two, one. Pants down, we'll start with Scott. Is it the wall? We'll go to Beller. Uh, put the black key. I know where it is now. Uh, we will go to Boatman. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Uh, Scully. I said the wall, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, we'll go to Mac. The wall. And Wazario. <clears throat> the wall. The wall is correct. So, Mission Manager and Hollywood Video are tied with four. Bridesmaids have three. Let's get to the next question. In what category, Bar? It's going to be in spots. Spots. Name both teams that are currently in the NBA Finals, and we will just accept the mascots. Shit. <laughs> no, that is not one of the answers. Uh, the, uh, the New England shit are not in there this year. I was going to make a joke, and then I was like, I probably shouldn't say that, because that doesn't give away what it could be, uh, or what it couldn't be. Um, but you know what? The NBA is... Uh, the I like. I don't watch regular season NBA much, but I watch the finals every year, the playoffs. I Five. keep up with them, at least. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. We'll go to Mac. Lakers and the Spurs. Uh, we'll go to Rosario. I should pay more attention. Uh, the Buck and the Heat? Uh, we will go to Boatman. And I said the Knicks and the Warriors. Uh, we'll go to Scully. Phoenix Suns and Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, we'll go to Bell. Uh, the Sun the I heat? said the Bucks and the Lakers. Uh, and we'll go to Scott. The Bucks and the Suns. The Bucks and the Suns are correct. So, Mr. Manage takes the lead. Five Hollywood video and bridesmaids tied with four. The Bucks the and the Suns team. also being you the name of the next John Mayer album. Zarya gets half a point. You get a half a ghost point for you. Well, then uh, Beller would too, so you guys would still be tied. Exactly. So we go to gaming for your next question. What is the current edition of Dungeons & Dragons? <laughs> one person going right to their board. <laughs> and no one else. <laughs> I, I, I know the same exactly fucking why who got that Reddit question. Sorry. I'm sorry, Cody. I like the NBA playoffs. The regular season goes on too long. I'm more of a playoffs guy. It's more fun. I think he was just saying that to you in general. That's a valid, but I know Cody. He was talking about me not watching regular season basketball. I know it for a fact. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Mac. The 21st. Uh, we'll go to Rosario. First, yeah. Uh, we will go to Boatman. Oh, you're looking for a number. I said advanced, advanced Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> we'll go to Scully. Fight me. <laughs> okay, we'll go to Beller. It's 5e. Uh, we will go to Scott. The Nerd Edition. 5e is correct. Uh, the so Nerd I Edition is also correct, that. but... Doesn't that look like a 50? Oh, it was about Game of Thrones. Listen, I say so many things that would warrant you calling me a punk bitch. Uh, so we are tied 5-5 five to five between Mischief Manager and Bridesmaids. Hollywood Video has four as we get to the next question in the round, which comes in what category, Bar? Uh, it's going to come in multiplex. 
Uh, who was the first person that Andrew Barr defended his Warzone single titles against? <laughs> you make me read a question about myself on the I day of this match. I didn't plan that. That was an accident. <laughs> that was, yeah. that was an accident. There's a lot of accidents uh, that have happened in this doc so far. Five, four. Repeat three. the question. All right. Go ahead, Barr. Oh yeah, uh, who was the first person that Andrew Barr defended his singles, uh, his Warzone singles title against? You you talk about yourself in the third person. What a dick! It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, Barr. Why would you do that to yourself? I hate you all. <laughs> Five. Ethan, four, you're cool. Three, Thank two, you. one. Pens down. Uh, we will go to Scott. I hope I didn't erase the right answer. Was it Matt? <laughs> Uh, we'll go to Belly. Michael Campbell? I did erase the right. Uh, we'll go to Caleb Boatman. No, you didn't, Scott. He's oh, right there. Okay. Matt Quillar. <laughs> uh, Thomas Where? Skelly. Where? Matt Quaylar. Wazario. Who the fuck is Matt Quaylar? I thought it was Boatman. Uh, and we'll go to Mac. That loser, Matt Quaylar! <laughs> that is correct. Uh, Mr. Manuel's the lead seven to Bridesmaids, six to Hollywood videos, five as we get to the Penultimate question, which is coming in the category of paints and books and theater. And your question is, what is the name of the tragic Greek hero who fulfilled his prophecy by marrying his mother? What is the name of the tragic Greek hero who fulfilled his prophecy by marrying his mother? Yeah, you didn't have to say that twice. <laughs> I repeat the questions every time. I'm sorry. Gosh. Look, so, it's just common courtesy. I, I'm not sure the English version, but okay. We will look it up so to be not, safe. You're Michael, no, he's right. not. That's the that other guy, Ian Feller, who's his. I love, that. I love that. Doc was absolutely. Let's just like Bar wrote this question about himself. Uh, I, did I? I don't think I wrote a single question on this one. Actually, I also don't think he did. Pens down. Uh, we'll go to Mac. Oedipus. Oedipus uh, we'll go to Rosario. I said Oedipus, but I wrote it like this in Spanish. Is Oedipo. Uh, we'll go to Bowman. Oedipus. Scully. Well, if you insist. Uh, Oedipus. Uh, we'll go to uh, Scott. Oedipus. Uh, and Beller. Oedipus. Oedipus is correct all the way around. It is nine to eight to seven. Uh, as we get to the last question of the round. Uh, go ahead, Bart. Going to come in history slash geography. Which four presidents are featured on Mount Rushmore? And we need well, all of them. you. <laughs> first and last name. Wait, what? really? Yeah, we need first and last name. We're going to give you some extra time with this one because we're not that much of a dick. I don't believe anyone is 100% of a dick. Oh, no, I am absolutely 100% a dick. That's, that's valid. <laughs> valid. Well, if you ask Cody Newberry, I mean. Uh, you know what? That's valid. Cody's going to be in the chat confirming that comment. Five. Well, Cody, can you? Three. Two. All right. Which four presidents are featured on Mount Rushmore? We need first and last name. Cody, are you there? Can you confirm? Cody's probably the closest one. Okay. Fair. That's fair. Fair. Valid. Fair. Valid. Valid. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. Rosario gets more than any of the Americans, we will kick you out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> One. Pens down. Uh, we'll go to Mac. Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Theodore Roosevelt, and Andrew Jackson. Uh, Rosario. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, and John Quincy Adams. Uh, we'll go to Boatman. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Scully. I went from uh, left to right. Uh, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Scott. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. And Beller. Almost fucking quit. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt, God damn it. I had, I had Jackson instead of uh, Theodore Roosevelt. All right, so uh, the answers uh, would be correct for George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Uh, so at the end of round number one, uh, we ha or round number two, we have Mr. Manager with 11, Bridesmaids with 9, Hollywood Video with 7, 
which means the Hollywood video will be the team that we do say goodbye to at this point in the round. Thank you guys for coming out and playing. Uh, anything you want to say before uh, you leave for the call tonight? I'm going to go open the store back up. I'll go about the video! I'm done. Uh, thank you guys for playing. Uh, and we will now uh, rearrange the teams. Here we uh, go again. And make, this, and make this work in a way that's uh, visually appealing. And it's so difficult. There we go. There, there you go. I did that in the most extra way. Tell them how round number three works, Mark. Round number three works. It's the wheel. Uh, we're going to spin the wheel. You guys land on the category. Um, and uh, you know what? You guys have to answer them. So there we go. You can confirm, uh, I believe, right? On this one, or is it the, no yeah, this is the one they confirm, right? Uh, or no? Well, it this wouldn't be the next round because we'd be facing well, duh. It, so it's I be think this round. is the one they confirm on. Right? Yes. Yes. Well, so if it's round or not at all. So. Yeah. We're looking at each other in such confusion. <laughs> I believe we're right. Michael Campbell in the chat. Confirm for us that we're doing this right or not. Because we, we messed this up every week. We do this every week. Every time we have final mount. No. He says no. No. Thank you, Michael. Help me. Help me, Michael Campbell. You are my only hope. <laughs> I always mess up the roster on three. No conferring in final mount. Thank you. There is no conferring. We messed this up with the regular. So send yeah, someone out when we spin this wheel. There we go. All right. Yeah. Bring up the wheel. Let's do this thing. Is this right. and is this fandom fandom rules or not? Like or uh, yes, it is fandom rules. You have to. Okay. I think it's fandom rules. You have to switch people around. I thought okay. he, he says it's fandom rules. Yeah. Fandom rules in the sense of just it's no luck the other way around. The you know, understand what I mean by fandom rules. The people at home should know what we say by fandom rules because they should watch fandom fights every third or Saturday. As a, for <clears throat> as a former fandom champion, I certainly know what. You're Absolutely, Scott. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and spin that wheel. <laughs> History slash geography. History slash geography. Who is going to take it for the teams? I mean, Ethan, our strategy always works so well, so why don't we just stick to it? Now? All right, I'll, I'll take this one. All right. <laughs> do, you to, do you want me to take this one? Um, Sure, I can. If you, or if you want to, you can. I don't care. All right, I'll, I'll take it then. Okay. All right, Coho, right, so I'm going to get something Scully. set up, so why don't you give him this question? I, absolutely. So Scully and Bella are taking it. Your question is, which country has the highest population of Muslims? What uh, what country do you think has the highest population of croissants? That's a very difficult. I think it's Antarctica. You know what? I was going to go with um, the same thing. I was going to maybe say Mars, but it was toss awesome. Five. You, you more Four. Jupiter than anything. You're right. Two. One. Pens down. Uh, we will go to uh, Skelly. I said Pakistan. Uh, we will go to Beller. I said it wrong. We were looking for Indonesia. Indonesia. <laughs> uh, so no points on that one. Uh, as we, we will now bring... Sorry, Scott. We'll now bring, back, no, the bring back the wheel. I would not have gotten that either. I would not have gotten that either. We got the wheel. This is what Boatman and Scott have to take, and it lands on miscellaneous. Miscellaneous in the summertime. All right, I am still setting this one thing. I up will go quick, ahead so. and keep going. Don't worry, I'll keep it going. No worries, buddy. All right, your question in in the summertime. Name one of the two songs released by Childish Gambino from his Summer Pack EP. I should move them up top because they're the two taking the question. So Scully's a little uh, uh, reactionary to this one. Well, I mean, I'm Think very reactionary myself. There you go. You froze for a second. Five. 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 That's a delayed Five. reaction. Two. One. That was kind of perfect. Feds down. I will go to Boatman. Is this is America a part of that? I uh, will go to Scott. I know it's wrong, but I just wrote sweatpants. We're looking for either Feels Like Summer or Summertime Magic. Feels Like Summer or Summertime Magic. Yeah, As we will now like, bring back the wheel. You can reset who takes it on this spin, which is away. S -s -s Games. Is gonna take Games. I'll, I'll take, take it, Scully. Yeah, I think you should take it. Yeah, this is you, Ethan. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking this one. Okay. 
So it'll be Boatman and it'll be Beller. Uh, Bar, do you want to give them their question in games? Sure. Okay. Games. Your games. question in games is, in chess, castling involves moving what two pieces at once? So um, did anyone get that last question correct? I was a little nope, busy. Nope, we are still okay. scoreless in round number three. Uh, As I was Albert, expecting. Albert Warren I mean, says, I felt summoned. <laughs> Garth, Garth is correct. Feels like summer is great. great. Dope song. Both of them are great. Yeah. Go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we'll start with Boatman. Castle and King. Uh, and we will go to uh, Beller. It's the Rook and King. Yeah. Rook, Rook is sometimes referred to as the castle. It is sometimes referred to as castle. <sighs> then we will accept both answers. The answer we have here is Rook and King. Uh, I know that so because of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. All right. So we are one to one as we bring back the wheel for Scully and Scott's spin. Oop, there I am. We're going we're to get screwed by that. I just know it. <laughs> Sports. All right. Sports. I wish I was sports. going against Boat on it. <laughs> I think we all wish we could go against Boat on sports. Uh, I, I think everyone would be good. I know Ryan Lochte. There you go. All right, your question in sports. In 2012, which NFL team received harsh penalties for being involved in a scandal known as Bounty Gate? I don't know this. Coho knows all about this, but I won't explain <laughs> why just yet. This is true. Very true. I'm writing it down to prove I might know a sports question. <laughs> Still hurts. Five, four, three, two, one. Heads down, we will go to Scully. The New Orleans Saints. And Scott. My absolute least favorite pro sports franchise, the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints is correct. Patriots. Uh, the <laughs> That was Spygate. The from the Charmin commercial. So there you go. All right, we'll bring back the wheel. You can redetermine who takes what. We are all tied up at TV. It's on TV. We'll be taking TV. I'll take it, Scully. Yeah. I mean, I feel good in this. Um, I, I missed. I yeah. Why, why don't you take one. it? I feel like I'm a little better in multiplex. So maybe if we yeah, get that yeah, on yeah. the second one, right. Okay. All right, uh, Andrew, you want to go ahead and give them their questions in TV? Yep, absolutely. Which reality competition will you hear the phrase "one day you're in and the next day you're out"? You can also describe this about trivia play, I guess. Sort of. Did I freeze? A little bit, but not on the question. You're good. Froze at the end. Oh, Maybe good. Go. Yep, yep. Good. Yeah, and absolutely, this is about trivia. <laughs> yeah. Four, three, two, one. Hands down, we will go to Beller first on this one. I put Big Brother. Uh, we will go to Boatman. I also said Big Brother. Looking for Project Runway. Looking for Project <laughs> Runway. Of course. How stupid of us. All right, so we'll bring back the wheel all tied up. At uh, that two. show slaps, so stop it. Bastard. Uh, as this one is away. <coughs> And it is multiplex. It is multiplex. So, uh, Scully and Scott have to take this one. And your question in multiplex is as follows. Recently on the Your List Sucks episode for Worst Fandom Films, what horror icons movie was voted the worst? <laughs> this is cheap. <laughs> I promise you guys. <laughs> we write these <laughs> and then things happen. <laughs> we wrote these a long time ago. What, will just the subtitle work? Uh, I we, think that we can accept we'll, that. We'll accept if we can the accept title. Castle, the, I think we can yeah, accept we'll accept the title yeah. or the, just the subtitle. Either. Yes. It's referred to as the castle. Like that's not a ridiculous. Garth is yelling at you to. I loved that Queen's Gambit episode. <laughs> Five. Four, I still have not seen that show. Three, two. I have not either. One. Pens down. Uh, we will go to Skelly. Please go watch my rant against this film. It'll brighten your day. Uh, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Uh, and Scott? I said Jason Goes to Hell. That is correct. So we are all tied up at three to three. So go to the next question uh, as we bring back the wheel. 
and you can redetermine once again who will be taking the next one as it is music, music. I'm the good music Ethan I feel like I think I might should take it because I think I feel it. like you've gotten we've gotten screwed on a couple of music questions recently. go for it that. <clears throat> okay. all right uh, go ahead and give them the question in music all right your question is what Metallica song begins with the lyrics say your prayers little one don't forget my son to include everyone oh my god it rhymes as that's most music what, does. Well, that's what most of music it does. You uh, you make of the rhymes, you make of the melody, and uh, you make of the music. You make the music. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of people too. know what that is, and I just I yeah. can't stop it. Yeah. Four. <laughs> You're ignorant. Three. <laughs> One. Pens down. Uh, we will go to Scott. It's Mariano Rivera's music, Enter Sandman. Uh, and Boatman. Enter Sandman, Lars Ulrich is a douchebag. Enter Sandman is correct. Not uh, wrong. Not wrong we'll about Lars. Back, we'll bring back the wheel as Scully and Bella have to take this next one. Okay, good. Science and technology. Science and technology. Uh, and your question is... Thus, I say as I scroll around to try and find these. Here we go. Which animal is the mascot for Linux operating system? Which animal is the mascot for Linux operating system? There we go. For uh, anyone who's actually ever wondering what the making music act thing is from, it's the it's the um the, the special with Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, John Mulaney. John Mulaney. Thank you. I'm not. <laughs> I've been I've been hosting one. I forget his name. Uh. He's also not been around for a minute. Five, four, spider pig. Three, there's, there's a reason. Two, one, I know. One, pens down. It will go to Scully. I don't know. I said a wolf. Uh, and Beller. Is it a penguin? Penguin is correct. So it's five to four for the bridesmaids as we get in, or bring back the wheel for the last question. We don't even need to bring it back. We don't need it. It's page of books and It's It's I'll take it, Scully. Cool. All right, so Scott and Boat, uh, could you bring up the the new screen that I? Uh, hey guys, who made this painting? Oh. Okay. Good job, guys. Well, it's it's a it's a piece of art. It may not be a painting, but you guys know what I meant. I mean, I mean, I'm real. Hello, Jumping Spider Otter. Thank you for following. Hello. Very, uh, very pleasant, Jumping Spider Owner. I love, I love this stream elements thing. It's helping me out a lot. Not gonna lie. Right. It's Five, nice to know you got new people. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Boatman. Sandy Warhol. Uh, and we will go to Beller. No, or Scotty, Scotty, but I choked. I said Norman Rockwell. Uh -huh. <laughs> Andy Warhol is correct, so we are tied five to five, uh, which puts us in the position <coughs> of uh, sudden death, uh, which is always fun. So what we will do in this case is we'll just run back down the document, I believe, uh, and use the sudden death fifth questions in there. Yes. Or we have, so uh, starting with in the summertime and working our way back. So. Uh, your uh, question, back to round one whiteboard style. Your question for In the Summertime. The Netflix series Summertime originally comes from what European country? Um, and this is for uh, everyone. Everyone gets every, answered. Everyone writes. It will go until someone misses and there's a lead change. So. Yes. So if one person misses from each team, you guys still are going through. Five. There is a thunderstorm outside my place. It's bright and sunny here. Two, one. Pens down. We will go to Boatman. France. Uh, we will go to Scully. I said France. Uh, we'll go to Beller. I also said France. And we'll go to Scott. On we go, France. Everyone is incorrect. We're looking for Italy. Oh. Italy. Uh, give them their next question, uh, Art. Uh, your next question... 
Oh, we don't. You have to. I think we have to jump to the, down here. You yeah. see where I am? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go. We're going to jump to TV. Who created Scream Queens, American Horror Story, and Pose? You see what we're doing then, Bar with the Doc? Yeah, I in. see what you're doing, yes. Yeah. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Boatman. Ryan Murphy. We'll go to Scully. Ryan Murphy. We'll go to Beller. Ryan Murphy. And Scott. This man must be stopped, Ryan Murphy. <laughs> Double the points for Scott. Ryan Murphy must be stopped. I agree. Uh, and, and people versus OJ were great. Jail instantly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people versus OJ was. I'll give you that. So we're all tied up at seven as we go to the next question, which will come to you in gaming. How many unique classes are there in Team Fortress 2? Oh, all right. There we go, Scott. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my fault this time. Nah. Very cordial. You guys still could pull it out, though. That's what she said. I, well, this is supposed to... It's not a family <laughs> show, guys. But no, but it's supposed to be a family show. Repeat the question just so I can count it all out. Repeat the question. All right. Uh, how many unique classes are there in Team Fortress 2? We'll go. Time is so long. Three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. And we will go to Bella. I went five. We'll go to Scott. I said a castle full. Uh, we'll go to Scully. I said seven. And we'll go to Boatman. It is nine. Nine is correct. So with that, Mr. Vance takes the eight to seven lead, and we will be saying goodnight to the bridesmaids. Uh, thank you guys for playing and filling in for me last minute. I owe you guys a lot. Uh, you guys will obviously be back for many more of these as we can't seem to get rid of you. Uh, is, is there anyone you're hoping to see you face off next time you come back? Well, we're no actually – um, it's sad to announce that this is a uh, we're retiring. Yeah, this, this is a, I mean, no, sorry, we're stepping away. We're not we're stepping retiring. away. We are stepping, we're stepping away. away so. the game. That's the, bride, okay. the bridesmaids are stepping away. Okay, got got you. Okay, that's, the people's that's champions. Cool. We may be back. We may not. Okay. Well, hopefully, we will see you back again soon, uh, and we'll say goodnight to you as we now shift into this being a one-on-one -on -one match uh, between Thomas Scully. And Caleb Boatman, congratulations, Mr. Manage. You will be back to defend the, or to challenge for the mound against Anthony and Robert in two weeks. Uh, but tonight, you now become mortal enemies that are playing to play for the final mound at the end of the year. Which one of you is going to punch your ticket to play individually? It's, really it's the rematch two years in the making. How this now works uh, is we'll be going right back down El Documento uh, one question at a time. And whoever wins at the end, you know, we'll see how it goes. So uh, your first question is going to come to the category of history slash geography. In May of 1937, which airship caught fire and was destroyed in New Jersey? Don't ask me if I was there for this. Every because I live in New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> You're all, everything there. bad happens in New Jersey, Bar. Everything bad. I Five. mean, I can't tell you that you're wrong. Two. One. Pens down. We will go to Boatman. The Hindenburg? Uh, and Scully. The Hindenburg. Uh, both are correct. Uh, the Hindenburg is correct. Uh, go ahead and give them their next question in paints and books and theater. Your next question is going to be, Tim Minchin composed and wrote the lyrics for what hit musical based on a rolled doll book? I love this band. Very funny. Who? This guy, Tim Minchin. He's very funny. Oh, I I know that I know more stuff by this guy. This is I just I can't think of anything though. So is your mind? Your, would you say your mind is clearer now that I gave you that hint? Five. Oh, Four. that there we go. That's Three. why. Two, one, pens down. We will go to Scully. I said Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I uh, will go to Boatman. Matilda. 
That's right. Matilda is correct. Uh, your next question comes to the category of multiplex. As of today, the most watched regular season match in multiplex is a war zone match between Jackson Latner and what competitor? I'm pretty sure we both hosted this match. I think we did. Yeah. <laughs> we need to choose our competitors better. We do. It's all involved. Check out your collections that are based on five, four, three, two, one. Heads down, we'll go to Scully. Marisol McKee. Boatman. Marisol McKee. That is correct. Uh, your next question will come to you in games. All right. Your question in games is, in Minecraft, what is the dimension a player can enter through an obsidian portal called? I don't play Minecraft, so I had no I idea. You don't, know, you don't know what any of these words mean. I'm an old man. Do you know what the word what is? Who what? He's I think you stumbled on the word what? I also believe you stumbled on the word player. <laughs> Look, I stumble the over word anything. Word is very difficult for you, especially. <laughs> English isn't my first language. Pretentious is, though. One, pens down. Uh, we'll go to Scully. I don't know. I said ether. Uh, we'll go to boat. The nether. Nether uh. is correct. Uh, we'll go to your next question, which is in the category of sports. Sports. Shikari Richardson was recently disqualified from the Olympics because she tested positive for what drug? Somebody has a TV on in the background. I think someone does. Not me. Uh, it's Thomas Scully. Is Tommy T. Scully. Are watching Monsters, Inc.? No, uh, I'm watching the Home Run Derby. Three. Oh, that's tonight. I forgot. Pens down. We'll go to Scully. Uh, marijuana. Uh, Bowman. Marijuana. That is correct. Would have also accepted cannabis. Uh, we'll go to your next question. Next question is going to come in TV. Which cartoon TV franchise has had seasons with the subtitle Action, All-Stars, and World Tour? Everyone is is, is, is is going to the boards fast right now. This is intense. This is intense. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll go to Boatman. Total drama. Uh, we'll go to Scully. Total drama. That is correct. Uh, your next question comes in the category of music. Goblin is the 2011 debut album from which L.A.-based rapper? Is it a candy wrapper? Uh, no, it's not. Is it a present wrapper? <laughs> no, I want to see how many you can go before you run out. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Boatman. No collective logic. Uh, we will go to Scully. This is Kendrick Lamar. Looking for Tyler, the creator. Oh. Tyler, the creator. Okay. Your next question is in science. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, yes. And um, Scully actually needs to hit both of these. Uh, and Bowman needs to hit, miss both of these in order to tie. So your question in science, what is the only inter uh, internal organ that can regenerate tissue? I need to. He froze, folks. Make it my. Hmm? I think he froze a little bit. Speak, speak, Bar. Five. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, there you go. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Boatman. I have no idea. I said the heart. Uh, Scully said the liver. The liver is correct. So six to five as we go to the final question of the round in miscellaneous. It's in the summertime. Your question is Luke Hemmings, Caleb Hood, Ashton Irwin, and Michael Clifford are members of what band? 
Based on the reactions of these two, I think we may be looking at sudden death bar. It is very possible. Uh, one of these people actually released a, as a single uh, by themselves one of my favorite songs of last year. Oh, wow, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, one Luke of them released Hemmings. a song called... Oh. Uh, Luke Hemmings, Calum Hood, Ashton Irwin, and Michael Clifford are members of what band? Yeah, one of them released a song called Greyhound. Mm. Dope. Fair. It actually reminds me of like early 90s alternative grunge. Interesting. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll go to Boatman. I said One Republic. Uh, and we will go to Skelly. Five seconds of summer? That is correct. And we are going to sudden death. Uh,. All right, we have to go and grab the sudden death out of the other tab now, I believe, Bar. In the summertime, what was I doing? <laughs> I was going to say it, but you know what? Fair. Uh, we, we do have more questions in, like, for some of these. Uh, I'll let you read the first one, then I'll try and follow your lead then. Okay. Uh, your first question is going to come. Sorry. Froze. Your first question is going to come in miscellaneous. Sublime sampled what song from the musical Porgy and Bess for their single, Due in Time? Uh, both of these songs, pretty good, and I'm not even a Sublime fan. I think I know one Sublime song, maybe. I bet it's the same one that everyone knows. Probably. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's right. Five, four. Repeat three. the question. All right. Absolutely. Your question is Sublime sampled what song from the musical Porgy and Bess for their single Do in Time? I don't want to say what song I think you're thinking of because it may confuse the players, but exactly that's why I'm not gonna say anything, but you know, five, four, three. Two. One, I may not have a crystal ball. Uh, we'll go to Scully. I don't know. Porgy and Bess. Uh, we'll go to Boatman. I went with the prompt this time. In the good old summertime? <sighs> Both are incorrect. We're looking for summertime. It's just summertime. It's just summertime. Uh, summertime and the living's easy. All right, oh! so we'll go to your next question. Which SNL cast member was on for the most seasons? SNL, it's still okay. It's right. You get like two good sketches and then like a bunch of ones that are just meh. Yeah. You're lucky if you get one, you, you, you're lucky if you get one good sketch out of a show nowadays. They have some good it happens. That's one good show that isn't Weekend Update. Three. The Mayor two. of East Town one was actually pretty one. good. Pens down, we'll go to Scully. Is it Keenan Thompson? Oh, no. It is Keenan Thompson. Keenan Thompson is correct. Let's go to the next question. Your next question is going to be in games. In 2017, Mario crossed over with what franchise of characters for a tactical strategy game with a sequel recently being announced at E3 this year? And if you want, I will repeat that one for free. Yeah, please. Was, yeah. In 2017, Mario crossed over with what franchise of characters for a tactical strategy game with a sequel recently being announced at E3 this year. Games. Games. They're fun. I guess. I play, I play one game. One game only. I don't think I've played a video game in a long time. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Skelly. It's the Legend of Zelda. Got a boatman. Fire Emblem? Looking for rabbits. Rabbits. Oh. oh, okay. Go to your next question, which is in multiplex. What faction lost Game of Factions at the end of 2019? And if both answer this correctly, then I think we have to dip into a new doc. Uh, yes, we do. 
Let me get that one set up just in case. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Scully. Criterion Collection. Oh. How Tonight Fury. And your oh, winner, years. Caleb Boatman, punching oh, his ticket to years. the end of the year final. Now, and the answer is House Night Fury. Uh, and that will do it for Multiplex Miscellaneous tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll go to our winners tonight. And Mischief Man is starting uh, with the overall winner tonight, Caleb Bowman. You have punched your ticket to the final, final mound alongside myself, Cameron Redshaw, Cameron Holson, Anthony Tisdall. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, What's going through your mind at this exact moment? I've gotten so close so many times. I'm happy to have actually made it. So I, I feel good about that. Valid. Uh, you are you are playing in a final mound with a lot of people you know. And Anthony, uh, which was the joke made last week, or last final mound. Um, what's your approach going into the final event? Um, I, I want to win. That's my approach. I feel you. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll go to uh, Thomas Scully with you now, Mr. Manish. You have won as a team, though. Uh, so you guys will be back to challenge the mound to play Robert and Anthony for the mound in two weeks. Uh, guys, just thoughts on playing those two? I have to pee. <laughs> okay. Let's wrap it up. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for playing. And with that, we're going to wrap things up tonight. Thank you so much to my trusty co-host bar. Uh, and thank you to all four teams who came and played. We had a lot of people drop in and out of this match over the course of the last three days. We had a lot of teams to try and find. So thank you to everyone who agreed to come play. Uh, I hope you all had a fun time. Thank you everyone who watched. We will be back in two weeks with another episode of Multiplex Miscellaneous live right here on Twitch. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys 